Spirituality is a whole journey and I remember when I first started my journey I wasn't even aware that it already started and I just put myself into it and try to cultivate some kind of a trust in to the happening and just try to follow the roads no matter what will come hello lovely souls thank you for being here and for sharing with me a few moments where we will talk about spirituality and um, I just wanted to share with you some experiences that I have in my life and what I would suggest to you if you want to start a spiritual journey and um, in my experience, what I experienced in my life, because I think spirituality is an experience and everyone experiences it differently, is that I can in totally say that spirituality has nothing to do with religion. You can um, be a member of a specific religion and be spiritual, but you don't have to. And I think this is a very important thing to know about spirituality because um, then you can feel you always have access to it and you always can be a part of it. You can integrate it into your life and make it to your lifestyle without being a member of a specific religion. So that worked for me very well, even though I um, learned a few religions but still i would say that for me it's not the religious aspect it's the spiritual aspect that i can integrate into my life and i can always hold on to and make a inner space and you know just just keep it there and um get in touch with it all the time and at times i need it more i can get in touch with it even more deeper to feel more safe and um, I would explain spirituality as a big source of energy which connects everything and also we are connected with the big source and to be aware of that that we are not alone and that we are a part of a big energy is for me spirituality and you know not just being aware be aware of it is the first step but then go ahead and work with that energy and to realize okay we are spiritual beings and we can evolve that so this is how how i would describe spirituality and if i would start my spiritual journey now because i started my spiritual journey let's say six years before when I was aware of it mm. and I had really issues at the beginning because I didn't know what to do and where to start and there have been so many informations coming in and I was like oh, I feel so lost and what to do with all that so what I would suggest you to do is first of all seek for silence and I don't mean like tell anyone to shut up <laughs> just be silent in yourself okay take some moments every day to be in silence um whether you are doing meditation whether you are being creative with painting or just something or you can go for a walk without listening music also when you're doing painting don't listen to any music just keep in mind that you want to seek for silence and um, this is what I also so much loved about um, how Jalalati Mulana talked about um, the, the spirituality it was always seeking for silence and I'm really into that because even in meditation it is seeking for silence and I think it's such an important thing because we hear so much, we talk so much, we watch so much things, but we very rarely go deep inside and take a few minutes to just be silent and just listen to what's going on inside of us. And when we are do that, doing that, we often feel that we have 
big issues like we feel sad we feel traumatized we are angry we have fears and it's so good to feel all, all that because if we can feel that how we can heal all that so first we need to start go inwards and start to feel what's co what what is going on there and what i need to heal and then the next part is to heal it and yeah first of all seeking for silence you can do meditations a few minutes every day you can go for a walk you can be creative but really really keep for silence and with that i don't mean just read a book then you read a book you again get some informations but this is the moment where you don't want to get any informations because you already have enough info dump in your mind and you want to get rid of that all before you can heal yourself but first we need to stop this info dump we stop getting so much information and on that level i would also stop um watching so much about spirituality and reading too many books i would just go for one if it's necessary on that moment and i would just seek for silence let's say for at least 21 days i will do that i still do it after so many years i still do it but for the beginning it's fine to do it 21 days and then do it beside because the second step what I would suggest you to do is then start to get some information because there is so many ways of spirituality out there and you need to find that one that resonates with you and I learned a lot and I'm still studying Buddhism but I also felt in my heart that I need more connect with nature I need to you know, I need to get some information also about shamanic rituals, but I don't do any of them. I just want to know about them and then make it to my own spiritual practice. So when you start to learn about spirituality, don't switch too much. Don't, I know there is a world to enter it and there is so much, it's a whole new world and you get so much information and you want to soak in all that. But do it just slowly and focus to one specific person or one specific uh, spiritual, I don't know, kind. <laughs> and then change and then get new information and there will come a moment where you will feel, oh, okay, this one is resonating more with me. This is um, the kind of spirituality I can work with and then go for it. And in our lives, we always forget that silence is so much more work than doing a craft or cleaning up or you know taking ourselves busy because it's really hard work and this is why often people have easy access to moving around and doing things and you know keeping themselves active but when you tell them okay just sit down for five minutes in meditation they can't it's so hard because it's really hard work but it pays off for you trust me um it paid off for me too and believe me if i can do it seeking for silence and meditating you definitely can do it because i've been through very hard um mental illnesses and i managed it to do it and um, i know you all can do it even yet you're right now listening to this video is showing me that you already started your spiritual journey and yet that your karma is ripe enough that you have access to this world just imagine how many people on this earth do not have any access to all this information who are not able to listen to any videos and what i'm talking to you right now and what you are receiving 
is also again about your karma. It's nothing about me because I made this video. This is all just about you. And you all time have to keep that in mind when you watch any videos or read a specific um, spiritual book. This is all about your journey right now and you need to heal yourself. Why? Because you want to be healthy at first, but in the second, you want to be a healthy part of this society and maybe help others as well to find to their spiritual path. And um, I think for that video, it would be that much. And I hope we will see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed. And I'm very thankful and grateful for every one of you watching this video. And um, thank you so much for being. Bye. Well, am I again? I forget something. If you select to meditate and you maybe want to meditate with me, here is my video where I meditate straight with music in real time. So we can do that together if you like to. And maybe it works for you better in company. You can just open it and um, put the screen and just sitting in front of it and just be my company. <laughs> Also, if you have any questions about um, meditation or about what I talked, just leave it below in the comments or you can write me on Instagram. You can directly DM me and I will answer you. I will, I will try to answer every one of you. And um, yeah, that's it.